Hi, how are you today? I'm so thankful that you came back and let me book your next cruise. How are you guys doing? Good, I'm doing good too. Thank you so much. It's so nice to see you again. Thank you. You too. Thank you so much. So, you guys called me earlier and told me you were interested on booking your next cruise on... Let me see. Okay, yes. You wanted to do Harmony of the Sea. I'm going to try to answer them all for you, too, okay? So it's going to be April 29th, 2017. Okay. I'll just set this here with my other book. Okay, let me tell you a little bit about Harmony of the Seas, okay? Let me pull up some information and we'll go over it, okay? Okay. It says... Harmony of the Sea, actually just in, so you know, it took 32 months to build. Yeah, 32 months, that's a long time. And it made its maiden voyage May 29, 2016. <clears throat> Harmony of the Sea is in the Oasis class, and it's one of their newer ships. And the length is 1,188.1 feet long. That's a nice big ship, yes has 18 decks, 16 of which are passenger decks, okay? Okay, it holds 5,479 passengers in double occupancy, and the maximum of passengers are 6,780 passengers. Crew members are 2,300 crew members, so that's a nice amount of crew members for everybody. Now, when I spoke to you, you said you were interested in a balcony. Okay, so let me show you a little bit about it here, okay? Give me a couple minutes here, to, or a couple of seconds to find the page I'm looking for, let's see. Here's the harmony of the sea right here. And it tells you each day where you will be and the days which you're going on the 29th. So so we'll start with day one. You will leave Fort Lauderdale. You'll leave Fort Lauderdale at 4.30 p.m. Let me pull this around, it might be a little better. You leave Fort Lauderdale at 4.30 p.m., as you see there. Then you will go to Nassau, Bahama on day two. And you will be there from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. Right there. And then on day three, you'll be cruising, which means you will be able to enjoy all the amenities of the ship, which I will go over some of them with you. Um, there's all kinds of stuff to do. We'll go over that a little later, okay? And on day four, you're going to go to St. Thomas. You will be there from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. So that's a nice amount of time to spend there on that day. And the next day, you are going to St. Martin. And you will be there from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And on day six and seven, you will be cruising. Once again, you'll be able to enjoy all the amenities 
of the cruise ship. And on day eight, you're back in Fort Lauderdale at 7 a.m. At that point, you could decide the night before if you want to set your luggage out for assistance um, leaving the ship, or if you want to do self-leave, you would just keep your luggage in your room and you would take it with you when you leave the ship. And it tends to be a little faster. Um, when you choose with them, they let you know what time you will leave and you might leave a little later. Um, when I go on cruises, I like to just take my stuff and go <laughs> when I'm done because I'm ready to get back home. So there's that. Now we will show you some of the amenities on this ship. What your ship includes actually is what I'm going to show you next is what some of the stuff that is included in your your cruise okay so what's included in your cruise let me read it to you first your accommodations your meals fine dining room service but there is a fee for room service uh, for certain hours we'll have to look that up onboard activities entertainment Broadway style shows like Cats, Mamma Mia, Saturday Night Fever, We Will Rock You, Ice Shows, Aqua Theater, DreamWorks Experience. There's a youth program, but it's just going to be you and your husband. But if you ever decide to take any kids with you, there's youth programs. There is a beautiful spa and fitness center. And of course, there's a casino. There are two. There you go. As you can see that. Okay. Here's some of the pictures here. Maybe you'd like to see. So, let's see. Of course, there are different packages on the boat. You have your drink packages. Food is uh, free, but there are specialty restaurants where you pay a nominal fee for. And entertainment is free. And of course, shore excursions do cost money. We recommend you book with the ship because if you are late returning, the ship has to wait for you. But if you book the excursions on your own, the ship may leave without you. They do not have to wait for you. So, do you want to book yours with the ship? Yep, yeah, okay. We'll do that later after we're done with everything. We'll get everything taken care of and get your payment. Then you guys can... I'll give you an excursion book. You can look up all the excursions and you can look up online and decide then we'll book your excursions later, okay? Okay. So, let's move on here. Do you have any questions so far? Yeah. Yeah, like on the drink packages, um, you could do alcoholic drink packages. You could do non-alcoholic drink packages, and they also have a soda package. If you don't drink a lot, and you tend to want more soda, you could do the soda package. Um, if you do the alcohol package, it will include everything. Soda, juices, alcohol. Yeah, they are fairly, fairly expensive. Yeah. We could look at those later, too, once you decide um, on your excursions and stuff like that. We could go back and book any kind of... Um, packages that you want on board or if you want specialty dining if you see a restaurant you'd like to try that's a specialty dining we could book that too you could book one night you could book every night or you know there's a buffet for free and there's main dining for free if you'd rather just do that too okay okay so give me just a second okay let's talk a little bit about your room real quick let's go here and I took the liberty of you said you wanted middle balcony so I did take the liberty of finding you a room so let's go right here I'll show you some of the rooms here this is the Oasis class you can be on the Harmony of the Sea and here are some of the rooms down here you have the boardwalk 
ocean view and balcony, but you book balcony. So there you go, it's a little close up. Um, they're not exactly like this, but it's similar to that. And like here is the boardwalk, I believe. This is a promenade. That's the promenade. This is the boardwalk. And this is the solarium. And the solarium is for adults only. Um, I, well, it's 16 and up or 18 and up. It depends on what ship. But um, if it's storming in bad weather, they do let them in because there is a cover that covers over. And you could still swim there. But if it's really rocky, they close down the, the boats. But um, you have chose the balcony. So that's the one we're going to do for you. And I took the liberty of getting you over, setting you up a room and I'll show that to you but here is here is deck 18 17 15 16 14 there is no deck there is a deck 13 but it's for the captain and his stuff so we skip over 13 then here's deck 12 mostly just rooms and I booked you a room on deck 11, if that's okay with you. Which is, right here is deck 11. And I got you mid-ship. Ship. And I got you room, let me see here, what room I got you. Okay. I got you room 1126. It's in the middle of the ship. I thought it was a good spot for you. Since you suffer from seasickness, I would recommend middle or back, but middle is the best. But it's right here. I'll get you a little close up there. There's a little dot by it. That is your room. Very nice room. So, and here's the rest of the decks here. You have seven, six, five, four, three. Okay. And on, you have a lot of stuff on deck five that you could do. The shops, are shopping on the boat and everything else. So that's the room I got you. Are you okay with that room? Okay. Okay, great. Okay, so let's see here. Um, something else I wanted to show you real quick before we figure out your total and everything. just give you a view of the ship. It is um, an artistic rendering, but I thought it'd be very interesting for you to look at here so you can see it. Okay. See here? It's an artistic rendering of the ship. Here's some pictures down below. Yeah. So it's a huge ship. It really is. And up here it gives you a few of the things that are on the ship. You have a flow rider, a zip line, all kinds of things there. You can just read over that. I'm going to give you a copy of this book so you will be able to look at all this yourself. So your lifeboats and everything, but all of this is on there. I'll read a couple of them to you. Like I said, there's a sports pool, the flow rider, zip line, the spa, the main theater, fitness center, center park. You have ice skating ring, you have lounges, you have youth um, programs, um, bars, restaurants, pools, you have um, mini golf, and the buffet is called Windjammer Marketplace. So all kinds of neat things in there. It is just such a nice boat. You're really going to enjoy it. So here you go. Here's the overview again. This is Harmony of the Seas. So, I will give you a copy of that book to take with you, okay? And like I said, um, after we get this book, you go home, you can look online, and you can either order your shorts shore excursions online and your food and your drink packages or you're more than welcome to contact me again and I will help you out with that. 
This way it gives you an idea of what it is. Okay, so you want a balcony. The balcony is $13.99 each. So your total for that is $27.98. And you're going to get a discount of $600 because you're a great customer. And I appreciate you. So your total will be $21.98 before taxes and port fees. There's always taxes and port fees and gratuities. But you could pay the gratuities once you're on board, or you could pay the gratuities in advance. It's up to you. That's something else to think about, okay? So you don't have to pay it all at once. And all we'll have to do is a down payment now, and you can make payments up till about three months before your cruise, and then it has to be paid in full. So it's $21.98, and there is $113 per person tax and port fees. So... Your total will be $24.24, and that is without your gratuities. So, you can make a down payment. They would like to have $500 down. Is that okay? Okay, great. So, do you want to um, pay with, you could um, either pay cash or with your bank card. They prefer bank card, though. Okay, let me just punch in. Thank you. I'm punching your information. And it will bring your total down to $1,924, okay? Okay. In which you can make your payments on. Or you can pay in full right before the cruise to do whichever way you want to do it. A lot of people like to make the payments. It's more convenient for them. So, yeah. Yeah, for sure. So, okay. So your total will be $19.24 when you're done. That does not include gratuities, which run about... I'm not sure we'll have to check on this, but I think it runs probably 130 or so per person. I'm not sure exactly. We'll look that up, though, so you could pay that in full, or you could pay it once you're on the ship. And then you can decide on any drink packages you want, or if you don't want, you know, that's up to you. Um, like I said, you go, what you just pick whatever package is good for you. They do serve free drinks. You get iced tea, lemonade hot coffee, um, hot tea, and for breakfast you'll get milk and some orange juice, but you get no specialties with them, like specialty orange juice or specialty coffees or teas. It's just your basic ones. Yeah. 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 It's going to be a fun time for you guys. I think you're going to really enjoy it. So, okay. Well, I think we got everything all together. Do you have any other questions for me? No? Yes, so just get back with me. I'll be glad to help you. If you're nervous about booking all the rest of the stuff, you guys, look up. Take your time. Look up what you want to do. Let me know. They have some really nice sh shore excursions. Um, like I said, I'm going to give you a copy of this book. You guys can look it over and um, see what you might want to do. I was trying to see. And on the boat, there's so many wonderful things to do on the boat. I think you will really, really enjoy it. Harmony of the Sea is a beautiful boat. It really is. And if you get a nice massage in there, you'll, you'll enjoy it. I always love to get a massage when I'm on there. So, And I just want to say, some of the extra specialty dining, just to give you a heads up, all right here you have chops grill and all the rest of these these are specialty dining they do have a fee johnny rockets is a good one i love johnny rockets it's old 70s or 50s looking actually i think it's more 50s 60s looking place it's really nice so you'd enjoy that but let me just get this all put in and i will print your papers for you Excuse me for a minute while I take a little sip to drink, okay? All this talking makes me thirsty. <laughs> so your papers are going to print the sign. We have your payment in there. And I think you're ready to go. And I thank you so much for allowing me to do your 
to book your next cruise for you. Yeah. Just come back and see me next time when you're ready to book another one, okay? And I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you, too. Thank you very much. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.